The abdominal crunch, four seconds on the way up, tightening the abdominals, keeping it tight on the way down, four seconds on the way down without resting at the bottom, then you come right back up. So there's no break at any point in this exercise. So a standard plank, the abdominals are tucked tight, hips stay up, and the chest remains over the head. So the reverse crunch, this is literally the opposite of a regular crunch. You're slowly pressing the low back flat to the floor, which will raise the hips up a little bit. It is not about the swinging of the legs. It's about the tightness from belly button and below. So the mountain climber, critical piece here is to keep the hands over, the chest over the hands, sorry. Chest over the hands and then tuck the knees in. Now this one can be done very fast or very slow. Both are effective. So the twisting abdominal crunch, you're bringing the right arm to the left knee, the left arm to the right knee, and you're not letting the shoulders touch the floor. So both shoulders stay off the floor the whole time. You can go up or down, but you can't touch the shoulders down. All right, the push-up. So this is being done on the knees keeping the chest over the hands, slowly four seconds on the way down, four seconds on the way up, and the hips stay up as you do this one. So the reverse fly, you wanna bring, you're just resting your chest on the ball, bring your arms up, but keep them in a position of a cross or a T shape. So it's straight up, straight down, they don't drift forward, they don't drift back. Straight up, straight down, work in the back of the shoulders, and in between the shoulder blades. So we're going to the hip raise. Now her feet are placed on the ball, but you could do this on the floor as well. The ball is gonna provide an additional challenge, more of a balance issue, and it will work the hamstrings even harder. So what she's gonna do is press the bottom of the feet into the ball, lift the hips up, and then take four seconds to lower them back down. So four seconds up, four seconds down. One more, nice and easy. So it's all back of the legs. The ball starts drifting. You wanna keep that ball close. That's the other thing. Keep the ball close. All right, so the regular old fashioned squat, nothing fancy about this. The key on this though, is you don't wanna let the knees push forward. You wanna keep the knees over the ankles by pushing the butt back, keeping a nice curve in that low back, a little arch in the low back. There we go. So the lunge, I'm gonna protect that front knee. Don't let it go out over the toe. Keep it right over the ankle. The abdominals stay tight, the shoulders stay back, and you drop that back knee as low as you can. Focus on the back knee. Here we go with the high-low plank. A little modification to a regular plank. All the same rules of the regular plank apply. Up and down, up and down. All right, so here we are with the band chest press she pushes it all the way out brings it back just far enough right when the elbows get even with the body pushes back out so you don't want to extend this all the way behind you and you want to do it at chest level or below don't let it go towards the ceiling the legs can be in this position or you can have both feet together all right so here we are with rowing you want to pull that as far behind the body as you can and keep the elbows in as close to the body as possible. You can see she's in a nice athletic stance, so the knees aren't out over the toes or over the ankles, and squeeze the shoulder blades together as much as possible. All right, so the hip raise disc squeeze, you're gonna pick up the hips. Now, once the hips are up, keep the ball close to you and squeeze the knees. So you're squeezing the knees as tight as you can. You can use a pillow, a, a coat, a towel, whatever, something just to keep the knees squeezing together. So as you do this, you wanna hold the hips up the whole time, squeeze the knees, release the knees, squeeze the knees, release the knees, let the hips stay up the whole time. So now you have the bird dog. Straighten the right leg, the right arm, sorry, and the left leg, and you just hold that for four seconds and then switch it up to the other side. Trying to keep that entire body as flat as possible. Now we've got the band bicep curl. So you're 
bending the arms, keeping the elbows locked right at the side so they're not coming forward, they're not going out, they're not going back, they stay stuck right at the sides, as high up as you can without rest and as low as you can without rest. And that is your band bicep curl. All right, so now you've got the band tricep extension. So you're holding the band here, you can adjust the tension by grabbing higher to make it harder or lower to make it easier. And then you're just straightening the elbow. Again, the elbow stays stuck right in place. Doesn't go forward, doesn't go back, doesn't go out. Stays stuck right to the side of the head there, straight up, straight down, and of course, do the other arm as well. So the leg press extends straight out. The legs will be straight, but not locked. We don't want them to lock and ease it back nice and smooth, just as far as you can without letting the weights touch down and then nice and slow extend. All right, so now we're doing hip abduction, abduction, pushing out against the pads, not with the feet. If you feel it in the top of the thighs, the quadriceps, you're pushing too much with the feet. So focus on pushing against the pad, keep the abdominals tight, hips pressed in, and nice and slow, four seconds out, four seconds in. All right, so here we are with the hip adduction, AD, hip adduction. So you're pulling in together. You wanna to bring this in as far as you can and you'll feel the machine click and that's what you want. When you do feel that click, try to squeeze the knees together just a little more. So, which will provide an extra fun little burn for you. Try to put the knees together as it clicks and then do make sure that you stretch as much as possible. Don't shorten the range to do more weight. So here we are with the abdominal machine. Most people are gonna pull with their hands. We are not going to do that. You're gonna pull just with the abdominals. You're trying to bring the sternum, the chest bone, down towards the belly button. And then tuck the belly button in, push the low back flat, and lift the belly button towards the sternum. Nice and easy. One more slow, smooth control. So it's not how far these go, it's how much abdominal work you feel. All right, here we are at the chest press. So we're gonna extend it all the way out using the vertical handles. And when we come back, we're not gonna go behind the body. We're gonna stop those elbows right even with the body and then extend back out. Keeping the elbows in tight to protect the shoulders and increase the work on the chest. Don't let them go out this way. All right, so here we are with the rowing. Cable row, nice and slow, four seconds back. Let it stretch you as far as you can without rest. Then pull it back in, bringing the elbows all the way behind the body, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then extend again as far as you can without rest. All right, so the low back machine. Remember on this one, you wanna make sure that the feet are in the middle of the platform, not together, but in the middle from the top to bottom on this particular autos machine anyways. Uh, make sure the hips are all the way back. The low back is arched. The arms are crossed and you extend all the way back just before you feel it touch and then come as far forward with an arched back and the shoulders up as far forward as you possibly can. So the dumbbell bicep curl, keeping the elbows locked right at the sides. Don't let them come forward. Don't let them go out to the side. Don't let them go back. They're stuck right at the sides. And you go all the way down as far as you can without rest and then all the way up as far as you can without rest. All right, so the overhead dumbbell tricep, elbow stays pointed towards the ceiling. Bring it down as low as you can without rest and as high as you can without rest and the elbow stays as close to the head as you can. Don't let it go out, don't let it go down, don't let it go back. 